At T minus seven minutes and 30 seconds, we're now seeing the orbiter crew access arm retracting away from the orbiter Endeavour and being uh, put in the launch ready configuration. If an emergency were to occur, the arm could be re-extended back up to the order in just 15 seconds. All systems are go at this at T minus six minutes, 52 seconds. Weather is ideal, the vehicle's in good shape, and we expect to see MT Endeavour off the ground in just under two minutes. Have an update for the crew on their Spec 50 display. With your go. Uh, you have a go. JRP SOTC pick up boat, 1101. Clear to running. Endeavour MCC, we would like you to select KSC 33 on your Spec 50 displays for TLS. And PLT OTC perform the APU pre start. PLT and work. Orbiter test conductor Roger Gillette has instructed Endeavour's pilot Kurt Brown to perform the auxiliary power unit pre start procedure. He will be setting the switches in the cockpit to put the auxiliary power units in the ready to start configuration. OT PLT, APU pre start complete, three grade max. Copy has just reported back to orbiter test conductor Roger Gillette that the auxiliary power unit pre-start is complete. Auxiliary power unit activation will come at the T minus five minute point in just about 30 seconds. The auxiliary power units provide power to the hydraulic pumps that control movements of the elevons, rudder, speed brake, landing gear, nose wheel steering systems, and the space shuttle's main engine thrust vector controllers. Minus five minutes, 13 seconds, and everything remaining to look real good. TLS is go for orbiter AT start. TLT OTC perform APU start. CDR, TLT and what? Reconfigure heater. We just received a go for auxiliary power unit start. Pilot Kurt is now flipping three switches in the cockpit. Start each of these auxiliary power units. Hydrazine is now flowing from the holding tanks to the auxiliary power units. OTC, PLT, APU start complete, three and hydrazine. Pilot Brown confirming we have auxiliary power unit start and we're marching right along towards launching Endeavour here in another four minutes. TLS is go for per sequence four. T minus minutes, 55 seconds. A test of the orbiter's flight control systems is starting. The aero surfaces such as the rudders, elevons, and speed brakes are now being moved through a programmed test pattern to verify they are up and ready for launch. T minus three minutes, 32 seconds. We are now transferring to internal power, switching off from ground power. At this point, Endeavour is being powered by its onboard fuel cells. Aerosurface checks are complete and reported to be in launch configuration. Also at this time, the three main engines are being dimmed, yeah, right meaning that they are going through a check and being positioned for launch. Coming up on the three minute mark in the count, in just a few seconds, we'll be pressurizing the liquid oxygen tank. TLS is go for ET yellow two pressurization. And we're now in the midst of pressurizing the liquid oxygen tank. All systems remain go for launching Endeavour, America's 50th space shuttle flight in just under three minutes. TLT, OTC, clear no warning memory, verify no unexpected errors. TLT and work. Orbiter test conductor Roger Gillette has just requested pilot Kurt Brown to clear the caution and warning memory system.
retraction of the gaseous oxygen vent hood from atop uh, the external tank is now in. OTC, PLT, caution warning, warning memory is cleared, no unexpected messages. I right, copy, and flight crew, close and lock your visors, initiate O2 flow, click on your mission, and see you in one week. Orbiter Test Conductor Roger Gillette instructing the crew to close their flight visors and preparation for this morning's liftoff of Endeavour. It's two minutes away from the second launch of Endeavour and the Space Lab J payload. One minute, 30 seconds. At T-minus one minute, the ground launch sequencer will verify that the Space Shuttle main engines are ready to start. When Endeavour's engines ignite in about 80 seconds, We'll hear, we'll hear the roar of engines generating 7 million horsepower. When the solid rocket motors ignite 6 min minutes, 6 seconds after that, we'll see more than 7 million pounds of thrust as Endeavour and its 7 astronauts head skyward. One minute. T-minus 57 seconds and counting. That's 45 seconds. The flight data recorders for the solid rocket boosters are now up and running. Coming up on a go for auto and start at T minus 31 seconds. TLS is for auto sequence start. We have for auto sequence start, and the handout has a curve which puts the space shuttle on its own power. T minus 17 seconds, we're coming up on a go for main engine start. 10. TLS is go for main engine start. We have main engine start. 2, 1, solid rocket ignition, and liftoff. Liftoff of Endeavour on America's 50th space shuttle flight. Houston now controlling. Houston, Endeavour is with you in the hall. Roger, roll, Endeavour. Throttling down now at 67% as Endeavour prepares to pass through the air at maximum dynamic pressure. Endeavour Houston, go at throttle up. Roger, go throttle up. One minute, 20 seconds of flight. Endeavour is now seven miles from the launch site, altitude 11 nautical miles. Now traveling 2,500 feet per second, or about 1,700 miles per hour. The next event is a burnout of the solid rocket boosters. That occurs at about 10 minutes. Endeavour Houston, UHF comm check. How do you read? Two minutes into the flight now, and there's 21 miles away from the Kennedy Space Center. Solid rocket booster separation confirmed. Standing by for the first stage performance call. Endeavour Houston, performance nominal. Roger, copy nominal performance. Performance thus far in the mission has been as expected. Endeavour is now 50 miles away from the launch site at an altitude of 38 nautical miles, traveling 4,800 feet per second. 
or about 3,400 miles per hour. All three main engines are still performing well, as are the hydraulic and electric systems aboard the orbiter. Endeavour Houston, two engines, Zaragoza. Copy, two engines, Zaragoza. Endeavour can now reach the primary transatlantic abort site of Zaragoza, Spain in the event of a single engine failure, but all three engines are still performing well at 104%. Endeavour's altitude is now 293,000 feet, 85 nautical miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, traveling 6,800 feet per second or 4,400 miles per hour. Four minutes into the flight of Endeavour. In Houston, negative return. Roger, negative return. At this point in the mission, Endeavour can no longer return to the Kennedy Space Center in the event of an engine failure. However, all three are still performing well, as are the hydraulic and electrical systems aboard the orbiter. Endeavour's altitude is now 348,000 feet, downrange from Florida, 148 nautical miles traveling 8,600 feet per second, or about 5,700 miles per hour. All systems aboard Endeavour performing well. The orbiter is now 367,000 feet altitude, downrange from Florida, 200 nautical miles. The orbiter is now accelerating through 7,200 miles per hour. Endeavour Houston, press to ATO. Roger, press to ATO. All the engines still at 104%. Group Zaragoza 109, Endeavour. Roger, Group 109. Endeavour is now downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 280 nautical miles, altitude 375,000 feet, traveling 12,800 feet per second or about 8,700 miles per hour. Single engine Zaragoza 104, Endeavour. Roger, single engine Zaragoza 104. Endeavour can reach Zaragoza in Spain. One engine should fail at this point. All three are still at 104 percent. Hydraulic and electrical systems performing well aboard the orbiter. Endeavour's altitude 370,000 feet, downrange 382 nautical miles. Velocity is now 15,700 feet per second, or about 10,800 miles per hour. Engine press 104, Endeavour. Pressure, single engine press 104. Endeavour can reach Zaragoza on one engine. Should two fail at this point, can make it to orbit now, and Endeavour's uh, traveling almost parallel to the Earth now at uh, traveling 19,400 feet per second, or about 13,300 miles per hour. Altitude 360,000 feet. Engines aboard Endeavour beginning to throttle back to maintain the structural limits on the orbiter as it approaches loads near three times gravity.
30 seconds away now from uh, cutoff of the three main engines aboard Endeavour. Eight minutes, 30 seconds, standing by for main engine cutoff. Houston, we have Miko on speed. We copy uh, Miko on speed, Endeavor. Looks good. <laughs> 